Katherine Jenkins took to Instagram on Monday to wish her husband Andrew Levitas a happy anniversary, insisting that there were definitely no signs of the seven-year itch in the caption. The 41-year-old opera singer posted the photo to her grid which showed the couple looking very glamorous, with Andrew, 44, donning a shirt and a bow tie and Catherine wearing a full face of makeup. She wrote in the caption, definitely no signs of the seven-year itch. Happy anniversary to my favorite person, best friend and beyond gorgeous husband at Andrew Levitas, I don't want to be anywhere else than by your side. I see pair tied the knot back in 2014 at Hampton Court and the mezzo-soprano wore a traditional white gown by Suzanne Neville. The American artist and Catherine share two children together Aaliyah Rain, 5, and Xander Robert, 3. The adoring post comes after the accomplished songstress was presented with a prestigious Fellow of the Royal Academy of Music Award back in July. The mezzo-soprano was presented with a prestigious Fellow of the Royal Academy of Music FRAM, award, given to those who have contributed significantly to the music profession or to the Academy. George Chambers, the head of communications at the Royal Academy of Music said, with 14 number one albums and the biggest record deal in classical music history to her name, Catherine joins our illustrious group of former students from across the whole profession, including Sir Simon Rattle and Sir Elton John. He continued, by awarding this fellowship, we celebrate Catherine's many achievements and her extraordinary work bringing music to the widest possible audience. Catherine won a scholarship to study at the Royal Academy of Music at age 17 and graduated with honors. She then went on to perform at a mass which honored the Pope's Silver Jubilee at Westminster Cathedral in 2003. Now, she is the biggest selling classical artist of the century, selling over 2. 6 million albums. Catherine is an avid activist for the arts community, speaking about the lack of support from the government in the entertainment industry during the pandemic on Imma Forbes podcast last year.